Thank you very much for uh, attending our meet, uh, seminar. Now, uh, I would like to show the, my uh, clinical result. Uh, at present, uh, people usually think that if someone will become Alzheimer's disease, the someone life will be ended and he or her has no hope, no hope to cure uh, this disease. Is it true? My recent clinical trials show that Alzheimer's disease is not incurable disease, but it can be recovered as such. I'll explain this amazing phenomenon. Uh, the people think that uh, onset of Alzheimer's disease is called uh, incurable disease or uh, the end of the life. Uh, okay, oh, sorry. But uh, it is well-known studies, none study on, in France. Uh, one sister named Mary, uh, he, she was a very active cognitive activity at ev uh, even 100 years old. People did not think she was Alzheimer's disease. But after her death, researchers found that her brain was typical Alzheimer brain. Then why did she show a so active uh, cognitive activity before her death? Uh, Yes, so however, her brain shows a typical uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, pathologies. So uh, we understanding uh, this phenomenon uh, usually uh, uh, the cognitive reserve, even anatomy, anatomically uh, atrophy or typical Alzheimer pathologies. The brain shows a sometimes normal cognitions. This is cognitive reserve. The cognitive reserve shows that some pathogen which can disturb the cognition will be lowered in some persons. Then I thought that there is a possibility that if we can treat this pathogen to decrease its level, then Alzheimer's disease patients can show uh, her or his cognitive reserve. This pathogen should be homocystic acid in blood. I'll show our result. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, recovery of cognitive functions, uh, so we uh, Alzheimer's brain can show some normal cognitive ability. Then I bring back to the cognitive reserve ability. So uh, decrease uh, in pathogen is equal homocystic acid, we think. Then uh, what is a homocystic acid? Homocystic acid structures is uh, this, uh, produced by homocysteine oxidizations. And so you see the homocysteine and the homocystic acid structures. Then we, uh, we show the uh, treatment strategies and uh, homocystic acid some, uh, is a, a bad soldier and, and blood and this soldier attacks the blood-brain blood barrier, and the blood-brain barrier's uh, permeability is increased, then uh, many uh, bad uh, substances in blood in, uh, uh, pass uh, into the brain, and uh, brain is started the onset of dementia. So, uh, we try to homocystic acid decreasing uh, by active hydrogen or uh, ferric acid. Ferric acid is uh, very competed with homocystic acid. 
it's very known uh, uh, phenomenon. So uh, we, t we uh, developed some supplement, including active hydrogen or uh, ferulic acid, uh, induce the uh, recovery process of Alzheimer's disease. Now, uh, I'll explain the animal experiments, and uh, uh, I use the uh, mice, uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, model mice. Uh, this mice is uh, 3XTG uh, AD uh, mice. This uh, mice uh, uh, shows a, a typical uh, gene, uh, Alzheimer's gene, uh, that is uh, APP and uh, preserenin and uh, tau uh, genes. In, uh, these uh, genes activated in this uh, mice. And uh, three XTG AD mice uh, uh, originally developed by the uh, amyloid hypothesis theory. Then, uh, how do uh, how we can me uh, measure the mem uh, mice memory? First, for example, this mice try to find the uh, the some plate uh, deposed in uh, water, but uh, uh, gradually this mice memorized this uh, place. Then uh, the reaching time of a place is very uh, become lo uh, shorter. So uh, we memorize, uh, we measure this. Uh, typical uh, Alzheimer model mice memories, memory time. Now, uh, upper cup of memory, uh, upper cup of mice is no more memorized, but uh, under the uh, red cup shows uh, this uh, mice can memorize uh, and this reaching time is very, becomes shorter. This mice is uh, treated by anti homocystic acid antibodies. And uh, we saw the uh, homocystic level in urine of this uh, model mice uh, and uh, upper, upper uh, control shows uh, a higher level of homocystic acid in urine, but uh, we treated anti-homocystic acid antibody treatment. This homocystic acid level uh, in urine ve became very lower. So decreasing ho excretion homocystic acid induced by anti-homocystic acid antibodies. So, 3XTG80 mice originally were developed by amyloid hypothesis. And uh, so uh, it is very interesting that 3XTG80 uh, mice were recovered their memory problem by anti homocystic acid uh, antibody, or uh, we developed another uh, treatment, a vaccine treatment. Then uh, homocystic acid is a prime cause, not prime uh, uh, not a uh, prime cause, and the amyloid hypothesis is not a prime cause. However, uh, we also know that familial Alzheimer disease patients really accumulated amyloid in their brain. Then amyloid is not a pathogen, but the reinforcement of the disease condition, we think. Now, we observed the uh, antibody uh, of uh, homocystic acid induced the uh, recovery of uh, memorized problem of 3XTG. 
we should observe the human, uh, human race. Uh, so clinical observation of the relationship between uh, mini mental state examination score and urine homocystic acid level. Now, I show that this result. Uh, at that time, we think that uh, patients, uh, Alzheimer's patients, excreted urine homocystic acid a uh, high level, but actually it is very uh, com completely different. You see the high level of uh, urine uh, excretion shows a very normal level of mini mental state examination. Gradually, uh, urine homocystic level decrease, uh, induce also the mini mental state examination score. So, uh, normal, normal persons excreted uh, urine, uh, uh, homocystic acid in urine very high, but uh, we don't know that uh, what mechanism in there, but uh, uh, patients, uh, patients' excretions of homocystic acid in urine decreasing and uh, uh, also uh, uh, their cognition ability also decreased. Another experiment we observed, uh, hypertension patients or diabetes patients also decreasing homocystic acid in urine. Uh, so uh, we are very, uh, uh, no, we are very uh, familiar, we, we know that hypertension and diabetes also uh, very uh, high risk for Alzheimer's disease, and these uh, high risk factors uh, correlated in, we think, the uh, excretion of homocystic acid in urine. Smoking is also uh, decreasing the excretion of uh, homocystic acid in urine. Uh, you see the uh, ho uh, smoking patients uh, lower level of their urine uh, homocystic acid level. Also, uh, we also, uh, the relationship of aging, uh, between aging and uh, homocystic acid in urine. Uh, gradually aging, uh, we, uh, we, we see uh, higher, uh, higher age uh, decrease uh, urine excretions of homocysteine de uh, decreasing, okay? <laughs> Do you understand <laughs> my explanation? Is, is that okay? <laughs> Are you okay? If you know uh, it's difficult to uh, understand, it, please question me. <laughs> uh, so, we try to find the, uh, when the uh, decreasing the urine homocystic level is where uh, this homocystic acid appeared. Then we uh, examine the blood level of homocystic acid and we compared, we, uh, we, uh, we did study the relationship between uh, uh, urine homocystic level and blood homocystic level. Now we very, uh, uh, statistic significant uh, negative relationship between urinary homocystic level and uh, blood homocystic level. So the, the patient decreasing the, uh, decrease the homocystic acid in urine, then the patient's uh, blood uh, contains a high, a more high level of homocystic acid. And we compare the uh, homocystic acid blood level uh, bit, uh, and uh, to the mini mental state uh, score. 
And I'm very surprised, uh, very high as uh, negative relationship correlations. Uh, so uh, if we uh, find the homocystic acid in blood, their patients will appear uh, or already uh, decrease, decrease their cognitive ability. So we can use this uh, factor as a biomarker of Alzheimer's disease also. So we, tr we think the decreasing homocystic acid in blood induce a recovery of cognit cognitions. So we try to decrease the homocystic acid in blood. First, uh, six persons, uh, six women, uh, senior uh, women in a uh, nursing house, uh, they uh, admitted uh, green tea leaves, uh, one gram intake or, uh, per, uh, every meal. So uh, two months later, they uh, mini mental state examination score, and we uh, we uh, we measured the mini mental state examination score, and also blood homocystic level. Uh, before and after, you can see that in six persons. Also, very uh, we very surprised. When homocystic acid level decreased in blood, then cognitive ability was increased. This uh, cognition, uh, cognition factor is very, very high. So <coughs> we, we think it's, it's not uh, actual. We, we see that this result something like uh, artificial result, but uh, maybe uh, this uh, phenomenon uh, we try to observe the clinical trial in this uh, phenomenon. Now, uh, coffee, uh, coffee acid and ferric acid is very known to prevent uh, Alzheimer's cognition decrease, cognitive ability decreasing and the homocystic acid structures. These, uh, we compare the, these uh, structures, compare the, these, uh, these compounds. Now, we observe that this very, very similar uh, structures appeared, and uh, homocystic acid Homocystic acid uh, structures, uh, especially uh, sulfite group, is very toxical. Uh, toxical effect of uh, our uh, brain cognitions. We think so. Uh, this uh, sulfite compo uh, sulfite uh, compound is uh, ca can be reduced. Some compound maybe. Uh, this compound induces the recovery, pro recovery of cognitive ability also. And uh, we sometimes, uh, we founded some papers uh, reported that hydrogen uh, molecular gas uh, reduce the sulfite group of these compound. So it is very important. We, uh, try to uh, develop the active hydrogen uh, compound uh, and also ferric acid. Uh, these compound uh, competed homocystic acid and also uh, homocystic acid decreasing effect in blood. So. I try to observe the, this uh, supplement named HBF, and uh, this HBF on blood homocystic acid level, 
uh, eight patients in take the, this uh, supplement uh, for two months. And before uh, they measure the blood homocystic acid, and after two months later, we also measure the, this uh, blood uh, homocystic level. Actually, very effective to decreasing the uh, homocystic acid level decreasing. Now, we observed the patient's cognitive recovery process with a minimal state, uh, no, 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 not with a minimal state examination. With, uh, we measured with uh, M scale. I am sorry, this, uh, uh, pro, uh, this uh, uh, table uh, in Japanese, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, uh, you can see the five items, five items, and uh, scores, uh, of, uh, scores increasing their uh, behavior, uh, mini, uh, cognitive uh, behavior uh, become normal, and with normal, with uh, increasing the uh, uh, scores. And uh, final stage of patients uh, scores of ze from zero to 16. And the middle stage of patients, uh, 17 to uh, 42. And uh, uh, 42 uh, to, uh, from 42 to 50 uh, is a normal, st normal stage of patients. And we try to this uh, clinical trial with uh, open trial, uh, open trial method. So uh, it is a very, very preliminary result, but uh, you can see the, uh, this result. Uh, 91 patients uh, intake the, this supplement for two months. And before uh, they are intaking the supplement, uh, the score is very lower, uh, showing uh, with blue mark, blue line. And uh, after two months, uh, their cognitive ability increasing with, uh, you can see the uh, red, red line, 100% patients they're increasing their uh, cognitive ability. So it's a very amazing effect. Even, uh, uh, okay, so uh, we uh, uh, summarizing our supplement uh, effect and uh, final stage patients increasing their uh, score 50 from 50, uh, 5.5 to 21.1, increasing their uh, state. So, uh, for example, uh, one patient, final stage of patient, one uh, patient always uh, showing a coma, all day long sleep, and uh, no, no words, but after taking uh, this supplement, he wake up and reacted to the neighborhood reactions, and also this uh, he said greeting to neighborhood. We very surprised, and finally this person uh, recognized uh, his uh, family, and especially uh, one daughter. Uh, very suffering from his uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease, uh, disease behavior. But uh, after two months later, <coughs> this <coughs> daughter said to me, we very, very thankful to you because my grandfather uh, finally uh, recognized me and we, uh, a grandfather called me uh, my name. It's very uh, fantastic. So, <coughs> uh, 
uh, this uh, person also is still uh, suffering from memory problem. And uh, this uh, 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 summarizing table shows uh, final stage patients increasing middle stage uh, of uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease, but they are still uh, have a problem. But, you know, final stage patients increasing their cognitive ability and the greeting and uh, conversation, enjoying the conversation. And, uh, uh, and of, of course, uh, they recognize the family. It's very uh, in important and a very fantastic uh, phenomenon. And also, middle stage of patients showing the normal stage, you know. Uh, many uh, supplements also develop the, this recovery process of uh, uh, cognition, but you know, you know uh, middle stage of patients in, uh, recover the normal stage, uh, uh, normal uh, cognition is uh, by many uh, supplement, but final stage of patients induce uh, recovered uh, their cognition. I don't know that uh, any uh, drug and supplement can do that. So then, it is my first experiment, uh, first observation to recover the final stage of patients to uh, some middle stage. So, uh, the pathogen, pathogen of uh, Alzheimer's disease is homocystic acid in blood, and uh, this uh, homocystic acid uh, blood decreased by adequate treatment, something like uh, uh, physical activity or something like uh, uh, Mediterranean uh, nutrition or something like uh, our supplement. This adequate treatment induce the recovery process even at the final stage of Alzheimer's disease. But you know, uh, the uh, Pfizer and the Lilly companies failed to uh, recover the uh, patient's cognitions uh, with amyloid hypothesis uh, treatment. So I think the amyloid hypothesis is also very important, but uh, this amyloid uh, has uh, something physical, uh, very important physical activity. So uh, if we decrease the amyloid uh, level in patients, something wrong will be happen in uh, patient's uh, brain. So uh, very, imp uh, so we, uh, uh, before my uh, giving the lectures, uh, Dr. Rui uh, also very fantastic in amazing uh, magnesium treatment. So uh, I think it's our, uh, our uh, method is uh, not the only one. So uh, many, many uh, adequate treatment will be uh, developed and this adequate treatment increase the cognitive ability in Alzheimer's disease uh, patients. So we concluded Alzheimer's disease is no more incurable disease, and uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease can recover their ability, uh, cognitive ability uh, as such. So, uh, completely recovery process uh, is uh, maybe will be appeared with something IPS treatment. Uh, so. IPS treatment may be a very completely recovery process in patient's uh, brain, uh, but at, uh, at that at will be time, we uh, enjoy the adequate treatment in, uh, to the patients and uh, no more uh, Alzheimer's disease is, uh, has no more uh, hope or uh, 
no more uh, awful disease. Oh. <laughs> It's my th third experiments, uh, experimented explanations in English. It's very, uh, uh, I'm very sorry to uh, wrong English. So uh, please understandable, uh, I hope. I, 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 my explanation is very understandable explanation. Thank you very much.